got a body to we got a body to examine. We got a baby toad that's kind of traumatized. Now I'm starting to think that Faith might not actually be dead. Like, what the heck? Okay. I wonder what that is. I could probably look at it. Uh, I forget the tap's not. Okay, Book of Fables. But I. Yep. Witching Well is located in a chamber inside the woodland building, where it is used to dispose of things meant never to be seen again. Dead fables are committed to its depths and are the most unredeemable criminals. No one is entirely sure what lies at the bottom of the well, nor indeed if it has a bottom at all, but it is widely assumed to be a passageway to the final resting place. Well, I'm sure that will go there in like episode 5 or some shit. That's usually how these things go. Um, all right. Wow. I didn't realize... You're gonna be okay? You don't have to stay. I want to stay. I'll be fine. It's just a little strange. The glamour is so effective, it's invasive. But just do what you need to do. Okay. Hi. Check her mouth. There might be a ribbon in there, like before. You okay. don't need to grab it like that. No. Good God. Can you close her mouth? I thought you were gonna be fine. Thanks. Looks just like Faith's dead. But there was nothing in her mouth this time. Do you think it was done by the same person? Hard to tell. Did Dr. Swinehart ever get back to you about Faith? No. He said he wanted to run more tests. He's the killer! He's the killer! That's weird. I don't wear a brooch like that. Maybe it really belonged to her. Not part of the glamour. Looks like something from the homelands. Buffkin, do you recognize these symbols? No, nothing I've seen before. That's... that's pretty weird. I guess we're done, though. Uh... Hello? Okay. Oh! Gosh, what the fuck is this? Rope marks. She was tied up? They tied cinder blocks to her ankles, so she would sink. Oh. Track marks. She used Monday drugs? Looks that way. Pretty heavily, too. I hear they only go for the legs if they've used up the veins in their arms, or if they're trying to hide the marks. Wait, if the glamour is supposed to make her look like me, shouldn't it be concealing things like track marks? That brooch, too. Why would it change everything else? I've never yeah, I read about that. Sloppy. It might be a cheap one, just to get the job done. The witches upstairs know what they're doing, that's why they cost so much. Unless someone is making glamours illegally? It's not technically illegal, miss. It's not encouraged, for sure, but there aren't any laws specifically forbidding it. So there's some sort of black market for glamours? One would assume so. I imagine anyone with access to the proper books and training could theoretically produce a glamour. Yet another thing to worry about. Black market or not, it's a pretty good match. Look at that. The buttons aren't exact either. There's an extra one here. You're right. These buttons are wrong. I wonder... What? Snow. I need to open her code. Bigby, just 
Let me. If I asked her, she'd be like, I'm fine. I can do it. <sighs> it's not you, Snow. It's just a body. I... Sorry, that uh, took longer than expected. <laughs> she saw, actually, that's my we find out. The glamour is defective. Oh, defective? We are thinking it's black market. We should really be regulating this kind of thing. Yes. We should keep going. Let's go for the pocket first. What is that? It's your perfume. How do you know what perfume I wear? You can't it's on your desk. Much. Also, I saw the bottle on your desk. Looks like someone picked it out for her. So, someone gave her instructions. I've seen things like this before. It's definitely magic, though witches don't usually craft objects these days. I don't think it's wise to fool around with that. It's some kind of black market magic. Who knows what it could do? We should have it looked at. Just to make sure it isn't dangerous. You may be right. One way to find out. Huh. What? There's something in here. How do we open it? Uh... <laughs> not sure yet? I'm not sure yet. Something to do with these rings here. I don't really want to fuck it up. Oh. Oh, well, you're probably gonna have to match up a picture. Am I right? That's what it looks like. Eh? Oh, I see. A little bit that way. Oh yeah, that'll be it. <laughs> I guess not. I think that we have to center it. Looks like a deer or something. Eh, well this was like the easiest puzzle I've ever done. A deer? What does that mean? Oh. Well, it symbolizes innocence and curiosity. Lock of hair. Oh, well, but the, that's probably her hair, but... Someone must have taken this from my apartment. I, I noticed it was missing, but I didn't think... This was the last picture I had of Rose and me. My sister and I don't talk much anymore. I've never heard of any Rose in Snow White. Let me guess. It's my hair. Yeah. Well, let's check on the undies. Who did this, Bigby? I don't know, because anybody... If, whatever answer I give you, I'm gonna get yelled at. She's a troll? You gotta be kidding me. Yeah, she's a troll. Can we move on? Who is she? That wasn't there before. Who do you think she is? I don't know many trolls, I'm afraid. Should have left them all back in the home. She lands. might. No, it's not Maybe Holly. Holly knows. The owner of the trip trap? No, she looks a little... Oh, no. What is it? It's not Holly. It's her sister, Lily. She was reported missing, but I... I guess it just slipped through the cracks. We have to go oh yeah, they right. mentioned that. Who knows, she might know something about this. Who Lily was seeing. Well, certainly another troll. We should go. You can't go out there. Why not? It's too dangerous. Someone tried to kill you. Bigby, you can't let her go out there with you. Uh, no one's to care. come with me. I'm not gonna stop her. 
But we should leave now. You ready? Yeah. I don't want to get fucking yelled at again. I don't particularly like that guy either, but he gave me a ride once, and he bailed me out of a police station. Early this evening. whole thing is complete bullshit, and always has been. I mean, what's his job, really? To keep shit from reaching the woodlands. Jack, I don't know where they are. You're a bar. You're supposed to have darts around. And I normally do, but who knows where the fuck they went to after... Hello again. Come on, Holly. I need entertainment. This'll do. Holly, you got a minute? Why? Please, Holly. It's important. Miss White, I heard you had kind of a strange morning. It's been kind of a strange morning for everyone, I think. Every time I see this guy, he seems to lose weight. It's amazing. It really is. He loses weight and yet somehow keeps all the muscle. Jack. Wolfie, my dear, how are you? <laughs> were you my high school prom because, date? Because, you know, we were just talking about you. All of us. At the bar. Here. About you. I just need to talk to Holly. Privately. All right. Just give us a second first. I'm dying to hear about the body that came out of the East River this morning. It was a fable, right? Oh, everyone knows. Tweedledee was just here. He said it looked like Snow White. Crane. Tweedledee said you arrested him for no earthly reason. Kept him locked in the cellar all fucking night. He said you tortured him. Which... I don't know, that seems like a breach of your legislative duties. Baby, come on. <sighs> you can't be so dumb as Jack, to... Jack, find the off button. Now! What is it with you two? You and Gran are all, let's get a posse together when there's no one around. But as soon as the big bad wolf walks in, your tails go between your legs. Cat got your nerve? What happened? What happened? I'm tired is what happened. Tired of what? Of trouble, Jack. I'm sick and tired of trouble. I don't want any more. So just stop revving his motor or wait outside or fuck the hell off. I don't care which. Holly. What? Bigby, look. Two fables are dead. And shit, Gren's sister. Holly's sister. Holly's sister has been missing for what? A few days now? And we haven't heard word one about it from anyone. Actually, have there been any updates? I... I don't know how to say this to you, Holly. The woman we found in the river. Who was it? You know who it was. Boy, I sure walked into that one. If you say one more fucking thing, just one more thing. God fucking damn it! Of course, the dear princess Snow fucking White is all safe and sound. Where were you when we reported this weeks ago, huh? Where are you when we ever fucking need you? If you'd give one ounce of a shit about her, about any of us, she might have been saved. She might have been cared for. She might have been... Don't punch me. All right, everyone. Clear out. I ain't leaving her with you. No way. Are you are you forgetting what happened early this afternoon? I could have you know ripped your arm off, but I didn't. Holly, get the fuck out of my bar. I just want It should have been you. It should have been you and it wasn't. We 
recovered this from her personal effects. I thought you might like to have it. I... I didn't know she still had this. <sighs> the copper was from a dwarf mine. That was decent of you. Grin. Yeah? Take off for a bit, would you? Are you sure? Yeah, fuck off, Gren. You two jack it the fuck out. Sorry you're still mad about our breakup. I don't know that much about our life. Honestly, we didn't talk often. <sighs> she was lost here, in the city. She just got swept away by it. Why were you two not talking? It seems so fucking petty now, but I just... I didn't want to watch it with her. I think she was off the Monday drugs, but she was hooking to pay down debt. It ain't me up to see her that way. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. The owner, Georgie, with all his fucking fees, it's a crock of shit. That's how they kept her under their thumb, really. Holly, it's okay. If it's too much, we don't have to do this. Georgie. Hmm. What do you know about him? We can just go talk to him. We've got a lead. Maybe we can take it from here. <laughs> Lily. Thanks for everything, Holly. Is there, um, is there anything we can do to... No. No, I'm better off dealing with things alone. I don't need sympathy and I don't need charity. It's not charity. It's looking out for our own. Is she... Where is she? She's at the business office. She's taken care of. I'm gonna have to go down there and get her. Fuck. Please, we can handle the funeral arrangements. No, no, it's, it's a kind of... It's a formality with trolls. We burn our dead by sunrise or... I don't know. Of course. Okay. Good. Let's go down to the business office and start making the necessary preparations, all right? That club? <sighs> I'll go down there now, see what I can find out from the owner. You were good with her. I'm impressed. Oh, now you're fucking impressed. Really? Thanks. It just made everything easier. Okay, good. Well, then I'm gonna wrap this up. So, I hope you enjoyed this part of The Wolf Among Us, and I'll see you the next one when I go to put in and pie or some shit. That should be fun. Have a good day. Bye.